How's it going, my fellow nerds? Welcome back to The Sanctum. My name is John. If this is your first time here, I appreciate you stopping by. And in today's video, I got more of a shopping haul for you on some more nerdy stuff for my gaming collection that I want to share with you guys. So if you haven't checked out the first one, I definitely recommend you guys watch that video. You can watch them back to back. So if you want to pause this one, go watch that one or watch this one, go watch that one. Whatever order you want to do is fine. Um, now, I'm working on my 360 collection right now, and I have a little surprise inside this box right here so i'm gonna go through this box i'm gonna share with you what i got in my nice little shopping haul and uh yeah we'll see what other additions go to the 360 collection that i am working on now i got i'm gonna be saving the good stuff for last so do stick around throughout the whole thing so first things first let's talk about some of the 360 stuff i got all right so let's move this out of the way okay so I have, I have some stuff here that I've never played before, some things I have played before and I've traded in and I'm just rebuilding because, you know, trading stuff in, stupid me. I'm, I'm not trying to trade stuff in anymore. So, first things first, Medal of Honor. Now, some people have told me that this one they actually enjoy more than Warfighter. I have never played this one. This one came before Warfighter, so I know the multiplayer is probably dead but I'm really curious on how the campaign is. I really love shooters, which you guys are going to be able to find out pretty pretty quickly from this box. But shooters is a, is a uh, genre that I really enjoy. So another one here is Alone in the Dark. I have never played this before. I usually pass this one up just because the cover just doesn't seem very appealing. And yes, I do judge games by their cover art. If it's really attractive, it's going to catch my eye because that's usually how... I figure out if the game seems interesting versus me looking up reviews because it takes forever to look up reviews for every game that I'm looking for when I'm shopping. So if the cover front and back looks good and it grabs my attention, then I'm going to kind of give it a little bit of time. But Alone in the Dark seems interesting from what I read in the back. So I'm actually going to give it a shot. All right. So the next one, and I don't know why I've never picked this up. I love cartoonish type games. And I really like adventure games, action games, RPGs, and stuff like that, too. So I don't really know where this kind of falls into play, but it just looks cool. And that is Cameo. So if you guys ever played this, uh, definitely let me know how you feel about it. It seems really cool. I, I like the cartoonish aspect of it, and it's all fantasy-like. So I'm interested to see how this goes. Next one has a lot of kind of like ups and downs with it. It's another shooter, and that is Homefront. When this first came out, I heard a lot of negative things about it, and that's why I never picked it up. That was back when I actually cared about reviews versus what people's experience were, and everyone's experience is different, so I'm going to try it. I'm going to see how it is. If it's bad, it's bad. You know, whatever. I'll keep it in the collection. You know, sometimes we have some duds in our collections. Big whoop. But I'm going to give it a shot and see how it is. Another shooter I have is Syndicate. I did play this back when it came out, and this is what also introduced me to Skrillex because his song was part of the trailer. So, <laughs> But I forget how this game actually played, so I'm just going to replay it just to kind of feel like I'm playing it for the first time. All right, so let me see what else we got. All right, now we're moving on to some of the actual story games. So... A really good story game that I played, but I don't quite remember how it was, and that is Alan Wake. Now, I've played um, the I played Alan Wake before. I've played, I believe it's Quantum Break is what it was called. I can't quite remember off the top of my head, but I played that one too. That was really good. I'm, I'm just replaying that just for replay value for myself. Now, these next three, they go back to back, and I don't recall if the fourth one, well... It's not, it's, just hold on. <laughs> it's not technically the fourth one. Fourth one, you'll see what I mean. All right, so first one, Assassin's Creed. So now you know, second one is Assassin's Creed 2. And then the third one is Assassin's Creed 3. So when I say fourth one, you guys will probably be like, well, then you mean you kind of have possibly the fourth one because it's Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 2, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, then you got Revelations, then you got 3, and then you got, what, Black Flag, and so on and so forth. So, based on the numbers on here, Assassin's Creed 1, 2, and 3, that's what I consider that order, but you, you get what I mean. 
Now, I have I have never completed an Assassin's Creed game. I get very far, and then I stop. So this is going to be a challenge in itself for me to actually complete an Assassin's Creed game. But I enjoyed these ones, and I enjoyed Black Flag. So Black Flag, to me, was the fourth one. Don't ask me why. I know the order's off, but just... That's my logic. I know it's not the true logic. It's just my logic. <laughs> All right. So the next one I have for stories, and these are phenomenal. These are absolutely phenomenal games. Batman Arkham Asylum, and then Batman Arkham City. Beautiful games. Love them. I still have to play the one after these two. Haven't had a chance yet. And... Just because it was part of the buy one, get one free deal, I already have a bunch of Battlefield games, so I added Hardline. I want to see if the multiplayer is alive. That's the only reason why I got it. This one was free, so I was like, whatever. Just throw it on there. Because I remember trading it in a while ago, and again, I hate that I traded in this stuff because I'm now rebuying it versus buying other stuff. So I got to get through this hump first of my collection to be able to get to the other stuff. You know what I mean? Now, like I did mention, it was buy one, get one free on all of these games here. So if it had a purple tag, it would be part of the buy one, get one free. So I, let's see, all these games range anywhere between seven to five dollars. So, oh, sorry, one's nine. So nine, nine to five dollars. So that's really not that bad. Even if I bought them all at the regular price, maybe... 60 70 dollars for all these guys maybe but since it's part of the buy one get one that's fine so now we're going to the main event the new system that i bought well it's not really new it's 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 an older system but it's new to it's new to our family because <laughs> it's now coming to our home um so when i was younger i had a sega genesis and it was a really fun console and unfortunately, it didn't last very long because of natural events, you know, Mother Nature being Mother Nature, floods, all that fun jazz. So I picked up another Sega Genesis and I picked up some games that I had as a kid. Now, my brother, he has a Sega Genesis and my parents thought that we still had a bin of my games in there and he went to look for them and he couldn't find them anywhere. So I went and rebought some of the games that I had as a kid. Starting with one that seems to not really be known by a lot of people, and that's Vector Man. I don't understand why a lot of people don't know about Vector Man. Is it is it really not that common of a game? Does anybody anybody that's watching this, you guys know about Vector Man? It's a really fun game if you guys get a chance to play it. The next one is something that both my wife and I played as kids. And she's a huge Lion King fan. I'm a huge Aladdin fan. I like the Lion King. I have nothing against it. It's, it's just not my number one. <laughs> Lion King is number one for her. So, Lion King and Aladdin. Now, you can get both of these on the Switch if you want to. I think it's like 30 bucks, but I want to play them on their original. Original location. All right. Now, I know I probably should have gotten the first one, but this one was actually more affordable. So, we got ourselves Sonic 2. And I'm a huge, huge Disney fan. So I love Disney games when they're done right. And Toy Story is just that. This game is absolutely phenomenal. I really recommend you guys playing this. And I leave my most favorite game, favorite franchise as a kid growing up. And that is Money Morphin Power Rangers. This is the movie. And this I played so much growing up. Love, love, love this game. When I saw this, I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, this is this is definitely coming home. Now, these are literally all the games that I had as a kid growing up with my Sega Genesis, minus maybe like two or three games. So I'm missing Sonic Spinball, Miss Pac-Man, and I think... Oh, yeah, and Sonic 3D Blast. So I'm missing those three games, and then I will have all the games I've had as a kid. But yeah, that is pretty much everything, guys. Um, I got the Sega Genesis in the box here. I'm not going to take it out or anything. You guys should know what a Sega Genesis looks like. If not, just Google. Google it. Um, but yeah, it comes in. They got all the wiring and everything in this bag here. 
you know, controller, all that fun jazz. But I'm excited to be able to hook this up and start playing it. And once I get everything set up how I want it, then I can maybe try to do some uh, videos and stuff for you guys. Maybe. Maybe. I don't know yet. But I got a lot of stuff. Um, I'm not going to go too overboard with the collecting. I have a list that I'm currently going through right now of games that I really want from all the systems that I want to collect for throughout my journey of collecting. So this is going to be an ongoing thing where I show you guys new stuff that I add to my collection as I get them. And I know I'm probably doing this the more expensive way by going to shops and everything like that. But personally for me, I want to be able to support the shops, keep them alive and around in this really hard time with COVID and everything like that. There are going to be some times where I will bargain shop. I mean, I'll go to like thrift stores if available, um, flea markets, Goodwills and stuff like that and try to hunt some other stuff down to add to the collections. Maybe pawn shops, uh, GameStop, of course, you know, they're always having deals and stuff like that. And, you know, that's the, the 360 section and PS3 section and Wii and stuff like that is getting smaller and smaller and the games are getting cheaper. So I might be able to swing some good deals for that stuff because I want to be able to collect more for... A majority of consoles but if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel and you want to see more a bunch of nerdy stuff whether it's video games or Funko Pops or just nerdy culture in general then this is probably gonna be the place for you because I'm just pretty much expressing all my nerdy stuff on YouTube on this channel <laughs> so like I said if you enjoy give it a thumbs up make sure you subscribe click the bell icon so that we can get notified whenever I upload a video but out of all of this, what was your favorite game? If you were to only play one game out of all of these, what would it be? I want to know. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video. And as always, stay nerdy, my friends.